Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you guys that are new, welcome. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, my lovelies, welcome back. This is a video that uh, has been highly requested. I continuously uh, keep getting messages uh, on my uh, TikTok as well as on my Instagram. So I decided to do a video for you guys, uh, those of you guys that are in the process of manifestations, how it works, the process, um, and how to better understand it. Now, something that I have been continuously hearing from you guys, of course, is that of when you are in the process of manifesting, when you are in the process of taking your power back and realizing the true power that you have in bringing into your reality that which you want. Uh, why is it so hard when you've been working at it and things just seem like the rug is pulled out of your feet? Things start to change and your natural instinct is to question, to doubt, to fear, and to even wonder if uh, if it's working. Now, if you have been in the process of manifestation, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, for those of you guys that don't understand, being able to manifest in your life, in any aspect of your life, is something that anyone is capable of doing. Everyone has that birthright within them. But not everyone is in alignment. Not everyone understands this. So when this is something foreign, this is something you're just learning and you're just picking up on, you start to take your power back, right? You start to become more empowered. You start to become more focused. Now, one of the things that I tell many of my followers and my clients is if you're trying to manifest for yourself, manifestation is not for the lazy. Why? Because it requires discipline and it requires focus, laser focus. Now, when you start to do this, when you start to make it a habit, almost a ritual in your everyday life, implementing, you know, tools and exercises that keep you motivated, motivated, that keep you focused, there is a change in your alignment that is beginning to happen. And ultimately, what I tell clients is if you start to experience a bit of pushback, if you, tar if you start to experience a bit of difficulty in your life, do not get, do not allow that to demotivate you or to distract you or to even doubt the process. Yes, it can be scary, but in the plainest form, we're going to, as you guys can see here, I have this board and I'm going to give you guys almost a visual, right, of what is happening. Um, but whenever you're about to break through an obstacle, whenever you're about to have a breakthrough, it's going to get messy before it gets amazing. Why? I will teach you how to understand this in the most simplest form. But again, keeping in mind, manifestation is not for the lazy. You have to be disciplined. It is something that you continuously keep working at. As you become a manifester, as you start to see all of these things around you start to unfold, you become more powerful. Why? Because of the belief in yourself. You are physically seeing the changes, you are experiencing those leaps. You are jumping timelines and uh, realizing how easy it is. So, and it's not that it's easy. You're doing the same thing, except now when you have results, you are more confident about it. You are more, if you will, believing or seeing without believing because it's already happened. Um, so as you progress in this journey, it is will get easier. You guys, I promise you, you will start to see amazing results. The more you believe in yourself, the more you're capable of manifesting, the more there is to 
uh, understand that there is absolutely no limit to what you're able to achieve and what you're able to create in your everyday life. Now, the reason why I wanted to do this is because I want you guys to see visually, right, what's happening. So as an example, let's say this is you, and I want you guys to uh, forgive <laughs> my my drawing. I am not great at it. So let's say this is you, right? And you are making money or working at a place that uh, you're not happy in. Let's say you feel like you could be doing better. You feel like this is not the job for you, um, whatever the situation may be. Or for some of you guys, you've had it difficult to find a job. So let's say this is the energy that you're in right now, okay? Understanding that. Uh, let's say you have other friends, right, that are around you and that you deal with on everyday, on everyday basis. And you are spiritually, energetically connected to these people these people that are in your everyday life, like I said. And let's say they're constantly coming to you, telling you their problems, their issues, how horrible life is going or um, how horrible, you know, financially they're doing, whatever the situation may be. Or for some of you guys, let's just say uh, they love partying and, you know, uh, consuming and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, this is where you were. Let's say this is where you're at now, right? You realize I am powerful. I'm able to manifest. I am able to align. So what's happening is you're trying to align yourself. You're trying to energetically be aligned, balanced in an energy field that may be foreign to you. Why? Because you've never experienced that or because you didn't know what it was to be aligned or whatever, whatever, whatever situation it may be. Okay. So this was you here, right? In the past, living your life, living your life as, as it came, living your life as it came on just every day, you know, whatever happened, happened, right? Without purpose because many experience that. Now you've come to the understanding of the power that you have. You've come to understand that, hey, you know what? It's it, it's not it's not necessarily luck or good luck or bad luck for some. It is that they are aware, right? They are in alignment to what they want and they are taking action to get results, to get momentum, to experience whatever it is that they're wanting to experience in their life. By the way, you guys, please excuse my nails. I broke them. Haven't had the time to go to my nail tech um, and they look horrible. But anyways, let's not focus on that. Okay. So you are now trying the best you can to get into this energetic field of what you're trying to manifest, what you're trying to bring into your life. You're trying to align yourself, right? Why? Because you want to go to where you are happy, right? That was a smile, by the way, <laughs> where you are happy, where you're making money, where you have more opportunities and you're able for the first time in your life to get a house or to get, um, to be able to travel, you know, I don't know what traveling would be. Let's just say water, ocean. I don't know. Um, so you are here, right? You're in awareness. You're trying to align. You're trying to get here in a happy, content place where you're making money, but you're actually enjoying making money. You're able to get yourself the house you've always dreamt or you always wanted or you always wanted to give and provide to your kids. You want to be able to travel. You want to have a positive or you understand now that there is a possibility as having or living a uh, very fulfilling life. 
and you're understanding that there is no limit to the abundance that you can bring into your life because everything that is, has been, or will be is already. It is already. It is somewhere in your energetic field. You just have to align to that. So you understand this concept. You are here. You were here, right? But how long were you here? How long were you in this energy here? Where you were just living your life day by day, uh, you were raised to think that you have to work extremely hard to be able to make money. You have to sacrifice. You have to this, you have to that, you have to. Uh, there's When we talk about money, when we talk about progress, progress, when we talk about success, a lot of the times and oftentimes there is a lot of negative that is connected to that. There's sacrifice that you have to make. Uh, you're not going to be around your kids all the time. You're going to be constantly working. You're going because back in the days, that's what it was for our parents. That's what we were taught. That's what we were raised to believe, right? And of course, there has to be sacrifice. Of course, there has to be, but you don't see it as sacrifice when you're doing what you love to do and you're passionate about it. It's not even considered a job because you enjoy doing that. And because you enjoy doing that, you are in your alignment. You are in your purpose. You are doing what you are passionate about and tapping into your creative. Okay, so this is ultimately positive. But how long were you over here? How long were you in the thinking that life was a struggle, thinking that, uh, humans, you know, are born to suffer, are born to, because that's part of life, right? And there's some people that are born lucky and there's some people that are not born lucky. How long were you in this energy? Let's say you, before you came to understand the manifestation and that you're capable of doing that and that there is no limit to what you're capable of doing. Um, let's say You've been in this energy for, let's say you're 18. Let's say you're 18 and you just came into awareness. It's still 18 years that you've been raised and taught to believe this here. Or let's say you, you know, have, let's say you're 27 years old, um, 27, 36, whatever your age is, where you were for 27 years, 36 years or 18 years in this energy. And all of a sudden you came to this understanding. And how long have you been in this energy? Let's say you've been trying to manifest or you've been working towards manifestations for one year. Let's just say one year, right? There is a momentum. There is a major energy shift from this to this, the present where you're at right now. Major momentum. Why? Because now you are in awareness. Now you know that you can manifest whatever it is that you want into your life so long as you use your God gifted gift, which is emotion, your intuition. You are in this awareness, in this alignment, but one day you wake up and you wake up off, you feel tired, you feel <sighs> life happens. Let's say you broke up. And you are sad now. You are sad and you are going through it emotionally. So there is going to be a need for you to realign to get into this vibration. It may take you a day. It may take you two days. If you are or have been practicing manifestation, then you already know how it works. And all it takes is you to understand, hey, you know what? I'm sad right now. And I don't like to feel this way. So I'm going to redirect my energy, focus on the things I want, focus on it and visualize it for a good 10, 15 minutes until I'm able to shift my energy from this type of energy that you were accustomed to, or that may feel more natural or more like home to you. And you actively, or I should say proactively realign yourself again. You realigned yourself and now you are focusing and focusing and thinking and visualizing about what you want, 
what you are wanting to experience and you're thinking about it and the longer it takes that you're thinking, let's say 10, 15, 20 minutes pass by, you're visualizing, you're seeing yourself experience this, you're happy, you're making money, you're excited about how money's going to feel in your hands, you're excited about, you're going to be so excited and so grateful that when the mortgage payment comes through, you're going to pay it ahead of time because you're able to. And because you're excited about it and you don't have to worry about that. So you're starting to really connect with what you're trying to manifest. Once you tune in emotionally, it's as if your mind on a subconscious level is reliving an experience that you've already experienced, even though you haven't, it is a memory. So when you realign yourself, right, you're going towards this aim here. What's happening is that you were here stuck in this energy for 27, for 36 or 18 years. So what's going to happen? You're realigning yourself, going and walking towards this type of energy. Guess what's going to happen? You're still talking to these friends, right? You're still connected to those friends. You're still working at the job that you're unhappy in, right? So this is energy from the past, but is still energetically connected to you, right? Because of whatever current circumstance, situation, friends, et cetera, family members, whatever it is. But you're in this vibration, right? You're in alignment, you're in attunement, going towards this. What's going to happen is that the universe is going to step in and it's going to be like, you know what, Pinky, guess what? You want progress. You want this new house, right? You want to travel. You want to make a lot of money. You want to be happy, right? I'll give you this, but guess what? I'm going to step in. And if these people are not for you because all they want to do is party, all they want to do is get drunk, all they want to do is you know, live their life as it comes, it's not connecting to this vibration here. It's not connecting to your energy anymore. So what's going to happen? These connections are going to end up falling away or breaking away from you. This job is going to seem every day like it gets a little bit harder. Why? Because the universe is like, Pinky, you shouldn't be here. We're trying to take you here. So you're not making changes. I'm going to make it to everybody makes it so difficult for you that it is literally impossible for you to stay here so that you can walk towards this. Do you see what I'm saying? So you are here and though you're here, you've moved on from this past of not knowing what you're doing or what you want to do towards aligning yourself and going towards all of your aspirations and want, what you want to make happen, right? Quantum jumping, jumping into your best possible timeline. But first, we have to remove whatever is not working for you anymore. Whatever is keeping you from alignment, whatever is keeping you from moving forward, okay? That's what's happening. So I get clients telling me, hey, you know, my life seems like it's falling apart. I lost the job, right? The relationship I had, they broke up with me. It seems like everything's getting really difficult. And my best friend that I've always, that I've known forever, that I've known for, you know, 15 years, is acting very differently to the point that we're no longer speaking to each other. This is really hard for me, Pinky. My response to that is, if all of this is falling away, it's because it's not for you. It's because you've outgrown it. It's because this is the chains of what's keeping you tied 
to the old vibration and you're trying to leap. You're, tra you're trying to quantum jump. You're trying to manifest in the alignment. So though it may be painful, it may hurt sometimes, uh, what is happening, it's necessary because that's the only way you can align yourself. If this job that you recently lost or they laid you off or because it wasn't working for you. So the universe is going to do what it needs to do in the quickest way to get you to where you want. Oh, Pinky, I've been working on this relationship and I've been trying to manifest a loving, healthy relationship, but he just broke up with me. This is the universe's easiest way of detaching you from someone that could never give you a healthy, loving relationship so that you can break away and move towards that loving, healthy relationship. That friend that you knew for 15 years, you started to align yourself. They started to get envious of you or they started to see manifestations in your life and they couldn't understand why you're able to do that and they can't. So they started to no longer match your vibration. And though it's sad, 15 years is a very long time. But if the universe finds that this person to get you here, if this person is going to get in the way, they're going to remove it. Do you see? So though it may seem like things are getting difficult, like it's getting really hard, it's not. This is a sign that there is about to be a breakthrough. And instead of being fearful, instead of being scared, right? Humans by natural instinct are fearful of the unknown. Get excited about it. Because the moment you realize all of this is happening because the universe is propelling you, it's pushing you towards what you're trying to manifest. The easiest, it's always going to take the easiest route. And if the easiest route is to remove you from that job, it's going to do exactly that. If the easiest route to get you to that healthy, loving relationship, it's going to get you there. Even if they have to remove this person, because obviously this person could never love you in a healthy way. Because if they would, or if they could, they would be in alignment with you. But if it's falling apart, it's because it's not meant for you. This friendship of 15 years, the same thing that happens when you think about it on the grander scale. You know, how many people have been friends for many years and the moment they hit some type of success, the moment they become, you know, famous or the, the moment they become recognized for their work or for their potential or for their gifts, those people that they knew for 15 years, for 20 years, for 25 years, change or go behind their back and try to talk ill about them or Whatever the situation may be, I've seen it all. Let me tell you guys, I've seen it all. But what does that tell you? Sometimes in life, especially when we're talking about friendships, connections, even relatives, family members, in life, everyone has a destiny that you must fulfill. And the destiny for everyone to fulfill is to find your purpose, find what feeds your soul, find what motivates you, what makes you want to be a better person, what makes you feel joy and happiness, whatever that may be. And not everyone gets to experience or gets to be aware that you have the power within yourself to find that purpose. Have you guys ever met someone that is over 50 and they have so many regrets, they have so many, you know, unfulfilled dreams and, you know, they look back at their life and they realize, I wish I could have done this. I wish I could have done that. And whether it's conditioning, whether it's their trust in their self, their confidence or lack thereof, that prevented them, we can find a million excuses 
of why we don't do what we want to do. But in the end of the day, your purpose here on life is to find your way, to live your life the way you choose to live, to live in truth, to live in your truth. Now, when you're able to do that, it's not going to settle well with everyone. And that's okay too, because guess what? In this lifetime, people will come and people will go. I call those people, people that are of season. They were meant to come into your life, but not necessarily meant to stay. Like the seasons, they come and go. And then you have people that are like trees that will grow within time, the connection, the relationship, and bring wisdom to you, give you oxygen, give you reasons to feel happy, prosperous, even motivated. And those are the people that sink root in our soul. That is our people, our tribe. And those are the ones that are meant to be in your life forever. But it's it's okay to outgrow people. It's okay to outgrow situations. It's okay to outgrow even relationships. It's necessary, actually. Because if you look back to who you were, let's say 10 years ago, I am sure with certainty that you would be a better lover now than you were 10 years ago. And if you aren't, then you have a lot of self-work to do. But I can assure you, speaking for myself, 10 years ago, I was a horrible partner. <laughs> horrible, very selfish. And 10 years, that was 10 years ago. Looking back now, I realized there's a lot of self-growth that has happened. There is a lot of awareness that has happened within that time. Um, where now, you know, there's certain things that I will not tolerate. That's never going to change. But there are also things that I know that I have to be aware to be okay with. Because that makes me a tolerant, patient lover. Do you get what I'm saying? It's the same thing with any aspect of your life. So I hope that this video helps you understand a little bit about the manifestation process, uh, the process within itself, and to understand that though sometimes when you're in the process of manifesting, it may feel like you're being challenged or like life is quickly changing and not for the positive, go with it because it is necessary who you are wanting to become to who you are now is not the same person. So you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with the changes that the universe is going to bring to you. As an example, if what you're trying to do is to run a million dollar company, for example, right? But you've never made a million. You don't know what it is to run a million dollar company, right? You've never experienced that. Should that, uh, restrict you from feeling like you are already a million dollar company. What is it that you're doing different? And if you're not doing anything different and you are continuing your business the way you have, then forget it because you're not in alignment. You have to see yourself, feel yourself into that manifestation and act accordingly. It's the same thing I tell clients when you're trying to manifest more abundance in your life. What are you doing differently? And they're like, well, what can I possibly do differently? Because I don't have money. A lot of the times people connect money to being able to do things. And I tell them, listen, if you have money, if you had money, right? And you were able to go out, go out and have a drink, go out with friends. Or uh, if you feel like having money would make, would put you more to be out in the public or in the social scene, then that's what you need to be doing. Doesn't matter if you're not able to, it's it's not like you're going to go and, you know, go to a restaurant and pick up a tab of $500 like that. What I'm trying to say is align yourself in action to what you're trying to manifest. It doesn't take much for you to go to a coffee shop and go dressed like a million bucks and smelling good and having makeup on or for you guys looking fly and going out there, like I said, to a coffee shop just to get yourself a coffee. But you're feeling good and you are dressed well. You cannot expect 
to run a million dollar business, right? Looking like crap or being in your PJs or running around all day in sweats. Like it's not going to happen. Like you have to align yourself to what you're trying to manifest. I hope I was able to explain that in the best way possible. Um, it's kind of like the same thing that I tell some of my clients. If you think about it, when we're talking about money, precisely about money or specifically about money, they usually say, well, I will feel or I will do this or I will do that when I have the money. Well, that's why you don't have it because you're you're putting limits, assuming that you're waiting on money to come. You're not trusting that it will come. So that's wishful thinking. That's not manifesting. Manifesting is the same thing or the same feeling as when you go to the bank, you give them a $10,000 check and they tell you it's going to take a day to process, but by tomorrow you'll have the $10,000 in the bank. And you walk out and you know without a doubt that you have those $10,000, even though there's absolutely nothing in the bank, right? Because they need to process that. But you know without a doubt, there's no, there's no doubt in your mind. You know that it is certain, that it is a fact, that it's there the same way when you're trying to manifest money. It is the easiest form of assuming because it is, in essence, assuming. You're assuming that the money's coming in. So you start to act accordingly. You start to, you know, go online and start looking at, you know, the car that you would love to buy. And you start to look at, you know, um, the style, the color, et cetera. That is taking action towards the manifestation. Whereas you're like, I want a new car, but I don't know what kind of car I'm going to wait until money manifests. And then I'll start to look into it. It's like, you are, you know, the, the, the person that is very skeptical manifestation is trusting the whole process. It is knowing what it is that you want asking for it very clearly, aligning yourself to that vibration, feel your way into what you're wanting to manifest. And as quickly as that surrendering and knowing without a doubt, like the example I gave, when you go to the bank and give them a $10,000 check or higher, you know, it's going to take a day to process, but there's no doubt in your mind that you have money. It's the same thing. And the more you start to practice, the more you understand this, but I hope that this made it much more simplistic for those of you guys that are in the process of manifestation um, to not be scared, to understand that changes have to happen in order to get you to where you want to be. That is exactly what the universe has to do to propel you, to move you forward, to put you in the situation, circumstance, or around the things that you're wanting to manifest. Okay, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I made it a little bit more easier for you guys to understand and to put your fears away. Continue on this amazing journey because you will continuously be blown away at how amazing it feels and how amazing it is to manifest. If you guys are interested in Manifest Your Destiny book or any of the journals for manifestation, the 369 journal or shadow work journals, you'll be able to find all of that on our link on the description box below. Until then, my lovelies, I will see you guys till next time. Bye.